Hi guys, Francis here with The Brim Factor and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create different menus for different pages of your WordPress website. So I have a demo website that I'm going to be using to show you this and this is almost like a one page website yeah, where all of my main menus are, are anchor links actually so when you click on the bit store it goes somewhere on the website and then license and then about and contact but the blog is is separate It's the only menu here um, that has a different page the home and the blog are the only two pages I have on this website basically so now once you get on the blog page all of these other links don't work anymore because they are anchors they only work when one is on the home page so it makes no sense for you to be on the blog and see all of these links that are not necessarily related to the blog page and they don't even work anyways yeah so i'd rather have the home the home menu and then next to it is the blog and nothing else so one can go back to the home and then see all of this um links that actually work on the home and then when they go back to the blog they just see the home and the blog that would be a nicer arrangement so that is why i need to do this on this particular website but for your unique website there might be various reasons why you want to do this maybe you have a login and log out and account and different pages and you just want different pages to have different menus yeah so let me show you how to do this um you need a plugin called conditional menus yeah um you know how to install plugins this is basic you go to your add new uh, from plugins go to add new and then search for the plugin conditional menus download and activate the plugin and once activated you can follow along with me yeah so once activated next thing to do is go to your appearance and then menus once the menus is opened up um, you can see that we have um, our footer navigation menu and then our main navigation menu we need to create another menu where we're going to assign pages that we want to show up on that particular menu alone so hit the create a new menu link here and then we are going to name this blog menu like so and then do not select any of this because you already have a header and a footer and just hit create menu and once created we can now select um, the pages that we want to add to this and for my unique situation I just want two um, menus on this particular page like I told you before the home page and then the blog page and I'm just going to add those next thing I'm going to do is just change uh, that there from welcome to say home uh, and then um, this is also something else I'm not going to be using this in this particular example just but just to show you just to let you know that you can do this and what these are used for so you can um, decide to create um, choose whether or not a logged in or logged out user can see a particular menu that you have set in a particular um, menu collection. Yeah. So let's say, for instance, this is this is not a home. Let's say this is this is login, for instance. Yeah. And now it would not make any sense if logged in users log in and then they see a login menu. Yeah. So we can now say display this to only logged out users. So once you're logged in, this menu will not display. And then let's say, for instance, this is your, your logout. It would not make any sense if they're logged out and they are st still seeing a menu that says logged out. So you say for display, display this to only logged in users. Yeah. And then you can choose for your subscribers or your admin or whatever. And then that's how this works. So very handy feature right there. But for this, I am just going to say home and everyone should be able to assess this particular menu. I'm just going to click on save menu. And once we have the menu saved, the next thing we're going to do is go to manage locations. And from manage locations, this is where we're actually going to set the conditions for the menu. Now on the manage locations tab, we're going to add a condition. So click on conditional menu right above your main navigation menu and then select the menu that we've just created the blog menu and then select the conditions for this menu um, for these conditions now we want it to show up in a particular page which is our blog page and then we select that and click save and save changes 
and now when we go back to our, our website we see that everything is working as normal and then if we go to a blog page we now have just home and blog go back to home you have your other menus your anchor menus showing up just like so so this is a very simple yet very handy trick to to have in your toolbox yeah yeah i hope that you've learned something and if you like this video please leave a like subscribe to the channel for more useful tips um, share the video um, leave a comment and i will see you in the next one thank you bye bye